Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and Tim reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars Elise. So he is from the Wave 6 of The Clone Wars, or Wave 2 of 2011. Uh, so anyways, I want to go over the packaging first, so let's move this guy aside. So here's the card back. As you can see, it's in the 2010 and 2011 packaging. Over here on the side, we got a render of Elise from The Clone Wars series. Also over here, it shows The Clone Wars logo. Then on the back here, it shows the rest of the figures from the wave. We got Ahsoka, Anakin Skywalker, the Aqua Droid, and also Clone Commander Wolf. On the side here, it shows the details for the Galactic Car game. Up here, it shows a picture of the actual figure. And over here, it shows a picture of him from the episode that he appeared in, which was Clone Cadets. Up here on the top, it says Elise, and he is Clone Wars number 47. It's also got a Clo uh, Republic logo up there on the top. And it says, the Arcana Drill Sergeant Elise trains clone troopers on Kamino. His extensive experience as a bounty hunter makes him well-suited to teach battle skills to, to the cadets. Always armed, the blasters Elise carries are models favored by many bounty hunters. The long-distance marksman rifle is designed for pinpoint target accuracy. His compact pistol is easy, con easy to conceal, so that he does not reveal his purpose as he closes in on his quarry. So that's what it says in the back of the packaging. So now let's go over the actual figure here. Uh, so, packings and accessories. Um, I'll try to get this guy to stand up here for you guys. Uh, is he going to stand up? He doesn't want to. There we go. Uh, so, the packings that are included are a stand, of course, a dice, as well as a card. So, right there. And then on the back, it's got the details for the Galactic Card Game. Uh, so that's the pack-ins that are included, just like all the other Clone Wars figures. And then for accessories that he includes, um, he's got this sniper rifle. The cool thing about this sniper rifle is that it's not only used by him, but it's also used by another bounty hunter which appeared in Season 2 of the Clone Wars, uh, the episode Bounty Hunters. I don't remember the exact name of the bounty hunter, but I know it was a female, and she wore a robe. Um... If you remember that episode, which was named Bounty Hunters, uh, I think she actually died in that episode. Uh, but she used the same exact sniper rifle. The thing is, the episode that uh, Elise appears in, he does not have any weapons aside from his pistol. So this was just mainly included for um, added play feature. Um, so technically, you never see him with this rifle. Uh, but the cool thing is, though, the you know they actually went ahead and made it. So that leads me to believe that that bounty hunter uh, might be in the works for the future, since they already had the sniper rifle for her. Uh, so that'd be cool to have that another bounty hunter. But anyways, back onto this figure. So the sniper rifle is pretty cool. Uh, it's got silver and black paint on it for the details. It's got a really cool looking scope on there. Uh, it's got a magazine and everything, and I really like how it has a modern feel to it. Uh, if you play you know, modern video games like Call of Duty and whatnot, you'll recognize this gun uh, as a modern weapon. Um, it looks very modernish. So I really like this sniper rifle. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but he comes with that sniper rifle, and he also comes with a pistol, which is concealed in his holster right here. Uh, oddly enough, it looks almost exactly like Han Solo's blaster pistol, aside from the magazine, but other than that, you know, it looks almost identical, uh, other than it's in animated form. Uh, but anyways, it's got a silver barrel, as you can see there, and also the rest of his black. And that fits right into his uh, holster he has on his thigh right here. It just slides right in there. It's kind of a little tough to get in there, but once you get in, it's fine. So there we go. Uh, but anyways... Uh, the details, they did quite a good job. I like the sculpting on the head as well as the fingers on him. They look really good. Uh, the paint apps are really nice. Uh, the paint is a darkish uh, green color for his skin. Uh, then he's got this uh, secondary yellow for the shirt part of him. Um, then it's all sorts of mi mixtures of color. These is the same color for the boots down here. Uh, for the uh, base, there is a kind of a silverish tone gray to it. Um, then he has even a, nar a darker green for his sleeves up here, which is pretty cool. And then on his other arm here, he's got uh, two tattoo symbols, decals, whatever you want to say. Uh, one going around his arm, which appears to be a red triangle of some sort, or a diamond. And there's also another one, which is almost identical on his forearm, which you can't really see there, but um, he's got that. There's some blue and uh blue and red details for his little comm link on his arm there. Um, he's got a yellow stripe up on his chest. Uh, he has a bandolier going around, which is pretty cool. It's got little ammo pouches on it. Um, his belt, he's got, you know, little um, ammo pouches. The thing is about his belt, it's a clone trooper belt, so that's pretty cool. It's got the pouches and everything on there. Um, and yeah, 
Uh, articulation for this guy, he has a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, silver wrist, silver waist, silver hips, and ball hinge knees. Sadly, he doesn't have any ankle articulation, which limits him, um, so you can't really pose him too much, and he also tends to fall over relatively easily, uh, which stinks. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, on the back here, he's got some red for his belt, the uh, yellow stripe continues, uh, there's a little pouch on his arm there, looks to be another ammo pouch. And that's pretty much it. Detail-wise and accessories, they're pretty nice, but articulation kind of sucks since he falls over really easily. Um, and this figure kind of feels a little fragile, too, uh, since he's so skinny and whatnot. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this guy. You know, they did a pretty decent job on him, and I like him. I really never expected the, him to be made of all people. You know, they made Sergeant Brick, so they got to make his counterpart. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. I'm going to rate this guy a... I'd say 4 out of 5. The only reason I'm giving him that is because his ankles are, you know, doesn't have any articulation. And it's kind of hard for him to actually to hold his sniper rifle, as you can see here. Almost looks like he's holding a guitar rather than holding a gun, which kind of looks a little weird looking. But um, other than that, you know, the figure has some really nice details, some really cool accessories, and some great paint on him as well. So I'd highly recommend him if you have Sergeant Break and if you like background characters and aliens. But, you know, you don't really have to pick him up if you don't want to, if you know like being just collecting jedis and clones and droids if you want to uh, but you know he's just kind of a side character uh, not really a main character or anything like that uh, so anyways that's pretty much it for this review hope you guys enjoyed it um Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, this guy, he is currently not out at retail, um, so that means he's only been spotted online so far, and he should be out in retail in a couple weeks anyways, uh, but anyways, he retails for six ninety nine, dollars uh, but it may vary the store you buy it at. So anyways, that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.